Good evening and welcome to Wet News Wednesdays. I'm Catlin and this is the news. We start tonight with the heartbreaking story that American freelance journalist Stephen Sotloff has been murdered by the ISIS organization. This is a truly sad moment for any American and our heart sincerely goes out to his entire family and all who knew him. Earlier in the week, the UK had raised their terror levels to severe following ISIS activity. Militants from around the globe are joining this movement and David Cameron was quick to push for new legislation to control these mercenaries getting in and out of the UK. Prime Minister Cameron also eloquently reminded us that this is the fight against a barbaric and poisonous ideology and not against a religion. ISIS is terrorizing everyone they come into contact with, including faithful and peaceful Muslims. It is clear that they wish to push their evil doctrine on anyone they come into contact with. We over here in the colonies would do well to remember that distinction. Okay, let's, let's not be mean, children. President Obama also gave a press conference late last week before the Labor Day holiday addressing issues abroad. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to talk about that because people were a little more upset that he wore a tan suit. Representative Peter King said the choice of tan suit showed, tan suit showed, that President Obama wasn't taking things seriously. Are you kidding? It's the end of August. A tan suit is completely appropriate. It's not like he came out wearing a KISS t-shirt, Pete. Plus, he looked good. And I'm sorry, since when does a suit of any kind that isn't used for bathing convey anything involving a lack of seriousness? Pete, go home. If that's your argument, there's a lot going on right now, Pete. We don't, we don't need to be talking about fashion sense. Speaking of fashion sense, Beloved comedian Joan Rivers was hospitalized earlier this week after going into cardiac arrest during a throat procedure. When she recovers, I'm sure that Joan will tell us all, she just thought that having a heart attack was the politest way possible to get out of deep throating. Then was granted interviews with three Americans who are being held captive in North Korea. While one captive works eight hour days at a labor camp, the other two are currently living in isolation in hotels. It can be assumed that they're trying to launch the music career of leader Kim Jong-un. An envoy is needed to release these American men, and North Korean citizens are in desperate need of food, so Un should kind of look at the bartering, but unfortunately he remains committed to his nuclear development. Kimmy, listen to Caddy. Size doesn't matter. Stop trying to compensate. Feed your people, have another parade, and find a man who loves you for you. Not for what you're developing with plutonium. The U.S. conducted successful airstrikes earlier this week in Somalia, targeting the terrorist group Al-Shabaab. They're terrorists. I know, they're a lot right now, okay? It's a lot. Hey, at least it was kind of successful, right? Mm -hmm. Protests continue to rage in Islamabad as Pakistani citizens are calling for the resignation of the Prime Minister. Pakistan. We've got a lot going on right now. So let me give you a little advice. Men, not so good at the multitasking. So why don't you get some ladies in government? Seriously. Or... Learn to do one thing at a time. You can't do it all. While everyone was enjoying their Labor Day barbecues, some creep on the internet was stealing naked pictures of celebrities, proving again that the cloud, oh, no, you shouldn't do it. Don't do it. But either way, internet creep, whoever you are, if you cannot get someone's consent, to see them naked, whether it is electronically or in person, deal with it. Work on yourself until somebody's willing to do that for you. Stealing the private and incredibly personal information of people that you don't know, whether they're famous or not, is really messed up. 
And while, yes, celebrities are in the public eye, and we do expect a certain amount of transparency about everything going on in their lives, seeing them naked is a little too far. They're not zoo animals, people. I mean, highly paid people who occasionally act like zoo animals, yes, but a very important distinction. They're not, and you can't just steal their crap. They're still people, and they pay a lot in taxes. They're good Americans. Don't do that to them. Thank you for joining me. We'll do this every Wednesday. It'll always be wet, and there will always be news.